Hi everyone, it's Jo from Jo Weed in Melbourne. I thought I'd actually show my face. <laughs> I am just about to get online and have a look and it's operating so that's fantastic. Um, so I'm going to try a few things out tonight because I realise um, I have to push the boundaries a little bit and give things a bit of a go. Um, so if someone can let me know that they're here, that they can see me, that would be great. Otherwise, I'm just going to go on with it anyway. Um, so I hope you're all well and um, coping here in Australia. We're cooling down, so the temperatures are dropping quite considerably. You know, it was only 20 or so today, um, considering that not long ago we had 40 degrees. Um, so, hey Roseanne, g'day, and Judy, hello. I haven't got my glasses on now, so it's a bit of a, um, <laughs> you are literally, yes, you are stalking me. I'm happy with that. That's okay. Um, so I thought I'd get online and say hello and try a few new things. So soon I'm going to flip the camera around and hopefully not give you too much vertigo um, and get it right. Um, but I thought that I'm going to make a card to go on from, and, oh yeah, to go on from the little care package that I sent around to my neighbours uh, two nights ago. So, turns out I only sent out seven because this is number eight. Um, but I've had two neighbours respond, one who I already knew and one who I didn't. So it was lovely to say hello um, and let them know that I was thinking of them. And then they responded, um, as I said, one I knew and one I didn't. They responded to say thanks heaps they're both very safe they've both got enough toilet paper um, and enough anything and everything but um, it was still really good to hear from them so after this I'll probably I'll do another few I think for the rest of the street the streets not very big but I thought I'll introduce myself and say hello and ask if anyone needs help and the next thing I thought I'd do is make a few little sort of note card type things for um, uh, retail stuff. So it might be supermarket stuff who are doing it super tough at the moment. Um, thankfully, I haven't seen anything untoward, but I'd certainly pull up and pull them up, uh, you know, a customer up should they do anything that's not very pleasant. Um, you know, chemist staff, fruit and veggie people, all that kind of thing. We're all human. We all need to look out for each other. So I might have a few of these cards in my bag and when I'm being served, I'll give them something, um, just a little card to lift their spirits, maybe with a Freddo frog or something in it as well. Um, so, hey, Chef Go, g'day, g'day. Um, so with that in mind, I'll get into creating because I've been thinking about it all day, as crazy as it's been in the rest of my world. Um, and I am going to attempt to turn the camera up and around so that then you can focus on the stuff that I'm going to work on. So please forgive me. Um, maybe look away if you need to or hang tight and let me know how I go. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so let's, have, let's see how this goes. It turns out I can't rotate my phone while I'm recording. Who knew? Um, so it's actually going to make it really difficult because I'm working now with the camera stand right here, right at my belly. But anyway, I will persevere. I was a girl guide once, so let's just see how I go. So I'd be interested. <laughs> Thanks. Don't drop it. Is that showing the right way for you? Because I can't actually see me on the camera. Is this, hey, Chefka, you know your colours. Well done. Uh, your your designer papers. Um, oh, no, I'm breaking up. No, that's not okay. Um, but is everything showing the right way up? Because I can see from the top of the phone, but I'm just a little bit anxious about that because I can't kind of adjust very much at the moment. So, oi, oi, oi. I'm just trying to be super gentle. Yes, okay, awesome. All right, well, I'm going to be a little bit uncomfortable with the way that it is, but hopefully that won't impact on the way that it 
produces for you. So as Shifka mentioned, we've got the Peacock designer paper, um, properly known as the Noble Peacock designer paper. And I've got the three colors here, which is Blue Boo Bushel, uh, Old Olive and Pretty Peacock with our Very Vanilla as well. So now I haven't taped anything down. I haven't pre-stamped. I haven't done any of that this time around. So you'll have to persevere with me. <laughs> which is okay. So I've started off with a card base of 10 and a half by 10 and a half centimeters. My card stock of the matching colors obviously is half a centimeter less. So 10 centimeters and then my designer paper is nine and a half. So I'll rush through and put all that on. And I have finally got tiny tiny little short nails after removing my fake nails a while ago they're finally growing back which means I can now use my doesn't my fingernails instead of the tools or scissors or a paper clip that I was using before to try and pull up this tape it was so frustrating for me um, incredible um, sorry Judy we'll see you later G'day Rails, how you going? Welcome. So I like to just layer my designer paper on like this. Um, I'm not sure that I'm going to do all three. I might just kind of set it up so that it looks like I've got it all done because it'd be a bit tedious for you to watch it all here. Watch me just putting it all together. Had I have had it all together like a good girl guide, then that wouldn't have been so difficult for you. Um, but I'll leave it as this. Oh, and look at that. I've scored that a bit harsh, haven't I? So I might have to fix that before I, or, you know, cut it again before I hand that out because I can't possibly give something out like that. That's not right. Okay, so apart from that, I'm now going to get some vanilla paper and I'm going to stamp the bushy blueberry bushel now this particular stamp ink pad I mean is super juicy oh my goodness so it'll be a bit of fun to see how it goes I'm gonna work from the side because of my camera being the wrong way but that's okay I've learnt it and hopefully it wasn't too awkward for you guys to have watched me moving the camera around I'll certainly watch it later as I always do to see how it how it goes for me and how I talk and things I do and all that kind of thing. I'll just move that up in the light a little bit. Okay, give it a bit of CPR. That's what I like to say with the bigger stamps. There you go. Isn't that just beautiful? I love the detail. Just incredible. So I'll close that before I put my hands in it. And I'm going to get the big shot on screen. So how are we all going? I don't have the dies out. Yes, oh, I haven't got the dies out, my gosh. How are we all going with the craziness of the world? Um, like I mentioned the other night with the live, I've been looking at positive ways to treat other, others and to see how um, people are treating each other and all that sort of thing. I did another delivery today to a friend for toilet paper because she said she was getting low. Um, so I dropped off just two rolls for her, but hopefully that will be enough for her. Um, hi, Karen. G'day, g'day. I'm sort of, oh, sorry. I'm watching as I can, but I can't guarantee that I'll see all of the comments. So put my very tired and damaged um, plates down. I really need to source out some new ones. Um, although there is a rumor that we may, we may see a cutting machine coming given that the big shot has gone. So that could possibly mean that there'll be a new one in the new catalog. So that would be rather exciting, I think. Now, let me see if I can run this through the big shot without it moving and without me moving the pole again for the camera holder. 
let's see, collectively hold our breath. <gasps> oh, and the Stampin' Gods have been kind to me. Look at that. Yay. So, I'll just move all that away because I will use it again in a moment. So here I've teamed up, obviously, the Peacock Stamp with our Pretty Peacock dies. So I thought I'd do a bit of a throwback and utilize some of the um, some of the products that haven't been used for a while. This poor peacock's been a bit dusty, I think. So I've used her or him, maybe him. I've got a feeling the male is the one that's the one with all this, you know, all the detail and things. So there you go. That's for that. And then. I should have stamped at the same time and big shot it at it. The words as well. So as I said, I'm choosing to use this for some retail stuff. So it needs to be a bit spesh. It needs to be a bit lovely. Um, and oh, here we go. I'm using the dies. The detail bands die. So here you go. I'm going to run that through the big shot now. So you'll get a bit more big shot action. Here I am saying it's quite cool. I'm actually starting to sweat a little bit. I think because I'm not as organised as I can be. So I just need to calm down and breathe. And all will be okay. Let's run this through. Everything will work out in the end. I might run this through just one more time because of the beautiful detail in that label. See, and a good thing before you remove it is to check. So you can actually see, I can find a pointer here. It's actually not gone through these sections here, so I'm going to run that through two more times, I think. It is the week of the Irish, so to be sure, to be sure. So how many people have had things cancelled on them over the next few months coming? Um, my workplace has closed, so I rang all my childcare parents today to let them know that we won't be... We won't be there next week and then thankfully we're on school holidays so that saves us a little bit um, and it's just a matter of us going in and absolutely cleaning the place oh I didn't do that properly did I oh yeah it'll all work out okay so I haven't used this so I didn't think of the way in which this is going to work so maybe I should have done this in another colour. But have a look at that detail. Just try and get all these little bits out. And then you can actually see. I'll put it on a background. Rather than the white pad behind. It's just beautiful. And I always say that I'd love to do the negative. I'd love to do the other side of this bit's not coming out there we go um, but I just never seem to sort of collect all the bits and do that so I'll see what happens perhaps if I clean the desk and I do have just one section where those bits can go and then they'll be safe I can put them back in well and properly And I'm pretty sure it's because my plates are so old that they've not come through. There's only one little bit now that I need to get out carefully. There we go. So let me clear all this out of the way for you. And I'll show you on here. Oops. There you go. How gorgeous is that? Look at the detail in it. It's almost like, um, is it fil filigree? Is that how you say? Hi, Manjit. G'day, g'day. And Michelle, howdy. Oh, we've got a great gathering, gathering here tonight. Thank you. Um, 
So the way I was planning was to put this down like this and obviously snip off the edges accordingly. But I've actually stamped that on there and it's not quite going to work. So I might, not quite sure how I was gonna do it. See what happens when you don't actually make it first. So I wonder if I cut this out in the blue and then I can mount it. Because the idea is I do want the peacock standing up like that so that he is above the rest of the card. You know, even just a bit. Or I could maybe do it like that. Hmm. Actually, let me try something else. Hang on. Let's think on our feet. So I'm going to get the big shot again. Welcome to everyone who's just joined. I'm sort of talking and thinking on my feet because I have got an idea of a card. I've got a card that I made a long time ago and I'm kind of trying to replicate that, but I didn't think of the dimensions of the peacock in comparison to the card that I had previously cased. Um, and so that's why I'm floundering a little bit, but we'll work it out. So that's okay. Ooh, and I keep knocking the camera. Okay. I'm going to sit down to see if that makes things a little calmer for me. So, get all these pieces out again. What I just thought I might do is... Place that like that, and then a trick that I often do with my um, punches is I'll often just cut a portion of the duplicate, and then oop, use. If I move that over so that you can see a bit better, just use a little bit of wet glue. attach that. You don't want too much because I don't want it to bleed through, obviously. And then I paste it like that. I attach it like that, I should say, just so that there's a glimmer of the shape around the side. So a bit of shadow to give it a little bit of dimension. And then of course, speaking of dimension, we put it up on dimensionals. Because I love giving it that, that height. So I'll we'll bring this over. And I just need to find, where are they? Hmm. I have somewhere the peacock rhinestones, but do you think I'm going to be able to find them right now while I'm under pressure? Possibly not. I might just have to make do with another set that I have. See, I have them all sitting here. Hmm. Of course, I'll find them as soon as I turn the camera off. Murphy's Law, right? Yeah. Oh, googly eyes. I was looking for those before. <laughs> Can't use them for this, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to use the champagne rhinestones. That will give something a little bit different. Wait, oh, oh my goodness, Joe! I apologise. Like da 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 da. da. <laughs> okay, so. I'm going to put this down probably here because then I can move my bird accordingly. Put that there and then a few dimensionals. I don't actually need a heap because, well, as a general rule, this one isn't going in the mail, so it doesn't need a lot of work on the back of it to support it, a lot of scaffolding or whatever. Um, 
And as you can see, I've used right down to the very last piece of my dimensionals. Um, look, I have, even have a bowl so that when I get down to the last few pieces, I cut them all up and they're always accessible. So I think I want my bird a bit like this. So there's obviously, oh, well, my dimensional's right at that point where I wanted it. So let me move that up. It's actually hurting my back a bit to lean over like this over my work. Probably not a good like, health and safety thing, is it? So I'm just going to cut one more little bit to put under the back of my lyre bird. Sorry, peacock. I don't know why I keep saying lyre bird. So just to support the very top part of the body. There you go. So it's going to go like that. And then I should be able to do this without. Let me just have a look. One more look. No, I think they're all my contraband rhinestones and things. I tell you, I'm going to post a photo. I really do think that I will find this as soon as I get off. <laughs> as soon as I stop filming. Because it's hilarious. Guess what, guess what, guess what? Da -da! I found it. I found them. How stunning are they? But I've only got two. <laughs> so, do you think I should? No, I'm not going to use green. Blue and green should not be seen. Unless there's something in between, is what mum taught me. So I'm going to go with these ones on with the show. So I don't know that I want to do all of them though, because sometimes too much is too much. So as you can see, I've not looked at the questions or anything. So if there's anything in relation to what I'm doing, um, I will have a look towards the end or maybe even when I'm done just so that I can concentrate on this for you. Seeing I've sort of mucked things around enough. So here you go. So this will be my first one. I'll decide exactly how many rhinestones I want to put on each card because obviously um, I've only got a certain amount so I can't do this many on all of them. But a couple would be nice. Um, I'll put one there. Oh, I do need one on the other. Are they called eyes on their on their feathers? I think they are. There you go. Okay, so after all that mucking around, it really is a bit of a simple card um, in that there's not a lot going on, but the designer paper talks and does all of the work and the beautiful stamped image just with a bit of bling certainly lifts it um, and just gives it, you know, enough. And as I said, I'll... I might even stamp another one of the images from the stamp set, if I can find that amongst all this craziness. Um, no, probably not, actually, because I don't think there's... Oh, maybe the flowers. I could put the flowers on the, um, on the inside here. And then that way there's a little bit of detail on the inside. And that will certainly... I don't think I've got one here. Oh, hang on. Let me open this. A kit from Monday Night's card. That will fit into... A standard card so then it's something really nice to pass on to somebody so with that in mind I thought I would show you this is what I've made today obviously I know you like the peacock Sarah <laughs> thank you um, and this is my original card that I cased uh, a while ago now um, so similar in sort of presentation but completely different as well um, but because of the size of the peacock, I obviously couldn't do this. Um, but I, um, I still love that you can take things away from one layout and use it on the next card. And of course, lots of these things here are retired. So it's really good to use something that's current on these ones. So if you see anything on here that you really like, please make contact. Ask me how you can purchase them, um, which will be through my shop. Uh, share my video, share the love, look after each other this week 
and I look forward to organizing another live video for you. Uh, thank you for your time and have a great week. Bye.